Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy and today's quick tip is in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate layer masks so you can recreate this typewriter effect or this reveal on effect for text. This also works for graphic layers. So what we're going to do is add a text layer, we're going to add a layer mask, and then we're going to animate the layer mask. So go ahead and grab the type tool, just click over here in the sidebar or tap the letter T as the keyboard shortcut and just type anything you want out. I am using the font anthology outline demo, very cool. Now I'm going to select the whole document by hitting command A, you'll see the marching ants here. I'm going to tap the letter V to grab the move tool, then I'm going to align it in the center, horizontally and vertically. Now my text is right in the middle. I'm going to hit command D to deselect everything. Now we need to create a layer mask around the text. Grab any selection tool that you want. I'm going to grab the rectangular marquee tool, keyboard shortcut M, draw a selection around the text. With the text layer selected, you want to hold the option key and press this button down here that's add a layer mask. That is going to hide the text layer. So here's the key to it all. Notice this little link right here. When the link is on, that means that the text layer is linked with the layer mask. So if I move one, they're both going to move together. However, if I uncheck it now with the layer mask selected, I can actually move the layer mask and look what happens. It reveals the text. So I can move the layer mask independently from the text layer. So now I'm going to show you how to animate the layer mask so we can get this reveal on effect. So come to window, click timeline. I'm just going to pull this up a little bit to make a little more room. Click the button that says create video timeline. So go ahead and select the text layer. Click this little twirl down menu. We are going to be animating the layer mask position. Over here in the layer panel, be sure that the text layer and the layer mask are unlinked. So if you see the link icon, just go ahead and click it to remove it. Drag the scrubber or the current time indicator, as it's officially called in Photoshop, to the very beginning. Add a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch next to layer mask position. Drag the scrubber, let's say two frames. Click on the move tool or tap the letter V. Select the layer mask. Be sure that this is selected with the bounding box around the layer mask. So press the shift key to constrain movement. Now we're just going to drag the layer mask until we reveal all of the text. So I'm going to let go. You can see down here in the timeline, there's a keyframe created. Tap the spacebar to preview and you just animated the layer mask. To control the speed of the animation, just drag the keyframes. If you drag them further apart, it's going to slow it down. If you drag them close together, you're going to speed up the animation. So we've got the animate on. If we want to go in the other direction, I'm just going to grab the scrubber here and create a hold by clicking this diamond here. It's going to create a keyframe. So we've got the animate on. It'll hold for a second so you can read the text. We'll drag this down here. So make sure the layer mask is selected with the move tool. Tap the letter V. We want to go in this direction, right? Here's a bonus tip. If you want to actually see the layer mask, Tap on the backslash key that's right above the return key. Now you can actually see the layer mask in red there. I'm going to drag this over here. Again, hold the shift key to keep its constrained movement here. And all we need to do is cover all of the text. I can tap the backslash key again to hide the mask. Photoshop automatically created that last keyframe. If I tap, go to the beginning, tap on the space bar. Now we're going to animate on, hold, animate off. To save your animation as a video, just go to file. Export, render video. To save it as an animated GIF, go to File, Export, Save for Web, Legacy. Select GIF, make sure it's looping forever, and click Save. My name is Mike Murphy. That is how you animate layer masks in Photoshop. Cheers.